Good afternoon. Uh, I am here in Cebu. I just arrived uh, three days ago from South Africa and I had to do the quarantine. Though I hear that it is already, we don't have to do the quarantine actually because Africa is a green country and I was, I am fully vaccinated but since I was swabbed so it's very I think it's very best, the best ever, you not know, to do this quarantining while waiting for the result of the swab, you not know, also for protection and to follow the protocols. I guess it's very important for us to to be careful, extra careful, so that we can also protect the lives of other people. I just thought of yeah, making this kind of video about my thoughts of what is going on with this quarantine. <laughs> because I've been here like three days and alone eating and sleeping and TikToking and doing any many things. I forgot my painting materials or from my drawing or doodling. So life has been kind of stagnant. And I don't see it in a negative way, but when you are seven to 10 days in quarantine like this, the hotel is very nice. The room is very nice. It's very, very safe in here. But for a person not to be like imprisoned, it's like an, being imprisoned for this long. I think it's something different, uh, but I look at it in a positive way. I just say that quarantine is not only for protection. It's not only for your own good or on your own good, but I think it's also for mental and spiritual health. You know that uh, you you have to be related to yourself again. You have to be in touch with your spirituality again. You, know, you have to go back into your heart again. Uh, we are all longing for peace and quiet places. And the quarantine is a healing moment, I suppose so. I think this quiet moment has given me opportunity of just entertaining myself. I do some reading from my phone because I don't have any books in here. I enjoyed myself, entertaining myself, but above all, thinking and reflecting of many other things in life. And I think this is very opportune time as if I am in a retreat, I am in a spiritual encounter with God and with myself. So this moment that I am in quarantine, I think I tried to picture many, many things about my life, about my journey, about the mission, about the people, you know, the people in South Africa whom I am serving. Uh, it gives me more time to ruminate, ruminate also like a cow. You know the cow, they keep on ruminating, eating the grass like this. And to ruminate also the experience of three years in South Africa and being almost nine years also in Zambia, no, there are a lot of experiences in my life which has really changed myself completely. And I suppose also that the pandemic in general uh, is a side that we are, we are seeing to one as a big trouble, you know, big trouble to the whole world. But also it brings about a lot of healing, you know, like families are together uh, during the lockdown and uh, there, there are more time for families and uh, being with each other on the table and TV, just talking with them and make fun. It is a healing of family relationship. It is a healing of nature, but also a healing of oneself. And this three days of quarantine is putting me in contact, yeah, in contact to them and in contact to myself. I think that is very much important for all of us you not know, to be in contact with our inner being, with our inner selves. Sometimes we really have to dig deeper our heart, our experience, the spirit inside, uh, you know, all these movements inside. And I think this moment of quarantine helped me. You know, of course, I will not deny that sometimes it is very boring that you're alone here, like you're, as I said, you are imprisoned, but make it a uh, Take it in a, as a positive way for something else. And above all, I use this quarantine as a moment of rest. 
though it is very difficult for me to sleep because of my body clock. You know, my, my body is still very much, uh, the, the time of my body is very much in South Africa. We are six hours ahead of here. So while people in the Philippines are all deeply asleep, they are all sleeping, I am fully awake. So it's the reverse. So, but uh, little by little, I feel like I am resting physically, not only emotionally, but uh, I am gaining a little bit of of power within, strength within. So I don't I don't take the quarantine like a punishment. You know, like many people reacting, were reacting, or are reacting about the quarantine that is too much and etc. etc. So I take this one as an important time, not only of healing, but also of reconciling with myself in spirit. And also moments, a lot of time for praying, enjoying, and ruminating, as I've said, not taking my silence as a time of communication, a time of relation, a time of uh, extending my, my mission in a silent way. So I thank the Lord for this one. So... Quarantine more as this at the end of the Philippines.